everybody, I'm in the Littlewood, also known as Martin, and welcome back to The Escapist. So today is very exciting. So if you missed yesterday's episode, where the hell have you been? I finally finished every single map inside of The Escapist, the vanilla game. Obviously, the Steam Workshop is coming up. Don't know how long that's going to take, but between now and then, uh, if I do continue this part as a Let's Play, I am going to be going achievement hunting. So throughout the course of the entire of this game, I've managed to get, I think it's something like nine achievements out of a total of 19 that are available on Steam. So there are 10 left for me to do. And over the last couple of days, you've been voting on a straw poll. That's been in the description. It's in this one as well. Um, as to which achievement you want to see me do first. And at the top of the list, with 39% of the votes, is Escape a Prison on day one. So that's exactly what we're going to do to begin with. We're going to do as many of these as possible inside the Yogsy Penitentiary, just because it's home. And I'm going to start rolling now. There you go. Awesome stuff. Right. Uh, let's name up some people. we got Mal Malfo. <laughs> Yo, what's up? I'm Malfo. Thug life. Uh, we got Bebop. Who else is blonde on YouTube? Uh, Craner, I guess. It doesn't really matter all that much what we name these people. Just purely because this escape attempt uh, doesn't actually require us to beat anybody up or anything like that. Or at least not very much. Um, it's just about acquiring a couple of items and having the right things in place. Um, I might actually just leave everything as it is. Balls to it. Let's just get into it. I know I usually name the prisoners, but we're not going to be here for long enough for them to really like us. Uh, now, as much as the Escape of Prison Day 1 is here, there is actually another achievement for recruiting five friends. So, apparently, in this prison, if you just do it at the very, very start of the day, um, you can get a ton of followers right away. So, there's two. Uh, who else is green? I need somebody else who's light green. No? Oh, balls. All right, that's two people. Let me train with somebody who's, like, nearly there. All right, Malfoy, if I give you a comb shiv, maybe you'll like me enough to follow me. What you hellers like? God damn it. <laughs> Tom told me that he, like, did this. There you go. There's three people. That's good. Let me get another comb shiv. Yeah, Tom told me that, basically, like, he ran over to the center part here and just immediately was able to make, uh was able to make like five people like him. So if I do this and then trade with somebody who's lightish green, Malfoy's probably the brightest one I can see. So let me do that one. And let me do another. Oh, actually, no, he's fully green now. Screw that. There's another one. Uh, oh, wait, I've lost one. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> there you go. There's three. Uh, four. We need one more person to like us. One more person to really, 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 really like us. Uh, oh, God. Let me see what we can do. Come on, come on, come on, come on. One more person and that will be another achievement done already. Uh, who else needs to come up? Who isn't following us currently? I guess Tr Leroy probably looks the greenest, doesn't he, out of a lot of these. So let me give you a comb shiv. And uh, let's see if you like me enough. No, you don't like me enough to follow. Okay, let's go up to my room. I've got like four people in this stack, I think. You can just see like just underneath Karina's hand ever so slightly <laughs> a couple of bits. So if we can get one more person to follow us, that will be a second chief on the first episode. Uh, come, come on, there you go. I don't want anyone to get lost or to get like disconnected from the group. I'm um, hoping that this one item will do the rest for us. Let's see what we can do. Uh, it was Leroy, wasn't it? Leroy or Edgar? Uh, let's go for Leroy. Unless Craner isn't following us. No, Craner is on top of us. Yeah, okay. Right, where's Leroy at? Come here, Leroy. I'm going to give you this, and hopefully you will be follower green. No, he's not. God damn it. I need to get one more. One more comb shiv, and that should do the trick. Let's go into, like, this room here, I reckon. God, oh, come on. If we could do this, it'll be amazing. I'm actually probably going to have to do this and then reset the day, because I've probably wasted a lot of time now just trying to get this one achievement as opposed to the escape one. Uh, where did Leroy go? There he is. Leroy, come here. Another item for you. You've got to be right green now. No, still? Come on. I just want to be friends. I need one more friend, and then I've done it. Come on, come on, come on. I wonder where, actually, let me have a look at these votes. Uh, getting five recruits was the fifth achievement, which is pretty funny, actually, given that it's five uh, five people. That's pretty cool. Uh, there, no, that's Redford. Where's Leroy gone? There he is. Got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. Do that. And then now you come with me. There it is. Oh, it's actually called Thug Life. Oh. <laughs> I can probably now... Is there anything that I can do with these guys that can work towards another achievement? I guess knock out 50 guards? Should we just go and beat up, like, one guard? And that'll kind of contribute towards that. I've done 35 out of 50 so far. Um, oh, yeah, look at this. Oh, my God, can I start a riot? Hold on a second. This could be a day one escape. 
That'd be amazing. Oh, I got sniped. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, that, would, that ended terribly. All right, well, let's restart the day. At least I got that achievement. Let's get back into it, and I can show you the proper plan that uh, Tom Perkins upstairs uh, told me about getting out of that prison. Uh, oh, dear me. There you go. So if I put my name as Martin again, Yogsy Penitentiary, and go. All right, so the plan for this is pretty simple. All you've got to do is get yourself down to the main door, um, which is down towards the south, which is where we exited before through the kitchen. And you've basically got to chip away at that wall until it's 4%. And then getting a guard outfit is really simple with the job that we have um, and some other bits like that. Now, I am going to have to go and grab myself a ton of forks. Hopefully, I'll have enough. Now, the only problem I've run into when I've tried to recreate this before, I've never actually successfully done this, um, is I always tend to run out of time when it basically comes to actually chopping through the fence on the outside so if I'm lucky I should be able to find myself uh, like a file or maybe two files and some duct tape it's very unlikely but if I can make some flimsy cutters to get through that outer fence quicker then that'll be really really cool but we'll see what we can do we'll see what we can do um, so I've just got to keep on chipping away through this wall and at the end of the day knock through the 4% after uh, evening roll calls happened and then everything should be good I think the snipers go away at 11 p.m. when lockdown happens because I'm fairly certain the, they are still around when it comes to evening roll call. I'm pretty sure they're still outside, so I'm not going to risk that too much. All right, good. We got it down to 44%. Okay, so that will mean that this one uh, fork should be left over so I can finish off the rest of the job. This will be good. Uh, but my fatigue is at 101, so I might as well get myself back into the kitchen and have a little sit down here. Apologies if there's more jump cuts than usual in today's episode, by the way. Um, I, it's first thing in the morning. I'm filming these episodes, and I literally had to re-record the intro to this, uh, this episode like nine times like even right now i'm stuttering and pausing it's just my brain and my mouth just don't seem to have quite woken up yet <laughs> it's really frustrating when that happens it really annoys me because i know what i want to say but my mouth just goes hum, blah, hum, blah, 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 and just like nothing works nothing at all uh, but anyway we've got to do this when we get over to our job actually after this free period getting a guard outfit outside of that washing room is way easier than i ever thought it was i think in the past i like tried using the contraband pouch and stuff but if you literally just wear it very similar to a weapon Weapon, which I didn't know this about it. Um, if you're literally wearing a guard outfit when you go through the detector, it doesn't go off. It's amazing. It's really, really freaking cool. So we've got that. We've got all those bits lined up. We could probably go and grab a load of those knives. Uh, now, they only do two checks a day here, don't they? They do uh, morning and evening, as far as I recall. So we can start getting together all of these bits and pieces for the room. Uh, we can put that onto there. And if I quickly go and grab one more bed sheet and cover that one over... Then we'll be all good. Right. So those two are in place. We've got the wall down to low. We've got a fork. Uh, let's go grab a buttload of knives. We'll see if we've got any easy jobs that we can pick up right now. Just in case we could buy a file or something by the end of the day. Come here. Uh, Officer Micah. No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm not beating up any officers. That's a definite no. Uh, Andrew and... Who's that? Radford. All right. Radford is in a scrap. There you go. Radford is down, unfortunately. Andrew has a mission, and he's also getting beaten up. <laughs> That's not helping our cause at all, is it? I'm basically trying to get some easy jobs, so I can basically get myself a file. Uh, let's see what else we've got. Glass shard, spatula, postcard. Uh, no. I guess maybe what I could do is, if I were to get my strength up high enough... I'm going to test if this theory works. I'm wondering if I get my strength up high enough to like 21 um, or 21 health, should I say, whether I can slice away at the fence at least once before dying. Because I think if they snipe me, it doesn't reset the state of the fence. So maybe I can chip that down throughout the day because I'm not going to lose the knives. They'll stay on my person. Because before, I've always just done the cutting solely in the evening after I break out from the room. So this might be a good way of going about it now that I think about it. I'm going to give that a try. That might work. Uh, but a day one escape is definitely on the cards for us. I'm still not entirely sure how I'm going to get the 0%, um, the 0 average heat escape. I guess I could technically do this, but without slicing in the evening. Or maybe do it over the course of like two days or something. But like just now, as soon as I miss a period, it goes up to 35%, which probably throws my, uh, <laughs> which probably throws my average way off, like completely off. Right, so it's job period. So obviously we'll go in, we'll do it, we'll earn some money, and then we'll also bring a guard outfit out with us as well, which would be really, really cool. So I don't particularly need any fatigue for that. Come on, why is nobody giving me their quest? There you go. Uh, Caleb stole your pedicure kit. Sure, I guess I can find that. Uh, you've got nadder on you that I want. Let's get ourselves in here and do some dirty laundry. I'm not going to worry about holding on to a guard outfit for now. I'm just going to sort of like wait for a moment. Or maybe I can keep that one. 
Yeah, I'll do that one. If I drop like that one there, there you go. They're not going to tell me off for having them on the floor in here. They're not going to go, oh, we traced us back to you. Um, but it's definitely nice just to drop a guard outfit because obviously each time that I pull something out of here, it could be one or the other. Like then, double guard and then double prisoner. And we could also, I guess, go for a day visit there. Maybe. Maybe we'll do a day visit there. We'll see. Um, let me just very quickly grab the last two. And we need to clean up the guard outfit and then pop it on whilst we get ourselves out of the room. Steptoe. What kind of a name is Steptoe? That's a very uh, peculiar... That's a very peculiar name. Uh, anyway, right. So we got a clean guard outfit. So if we equip it and walk out of here, no alarms. No alarms whatsoever. It's brilliant. So there you go. That's that part done. Two files. Amazing. So there's one file. I can't afford the other just yet. But if I could beat somebody up in time... I could potentially get this done really, really quickly uh, if I could find some duct tape as well. So let's see. Actually, was it Caleb's desk? Yes, it was. Caleb supposedly stole an item. So let's see if... <gasps> and there's duct tape in there. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We could totally do this really easily and really legitly. So if I get the duct tape out of here, quickly go and find whoever was selling the item. Uh, who was it? Was It It might have been Steptoe, right? Was it Steptoe? Oh, God. Where's he gone? Where's he gone? Where's he gone? Where's he gone? Someone was selling. Someone was selling. I don't think it was Shelby. Was it you? Steptoe, come back, come back, come back, come back. I don't want you to stop selling. Oh, uh, come here, come here. Why aren't you selling? There you go. Oh, it's changed. Was it Steptoe that was selling before? Surely it wouldn't have changed mid-period. It must have been somebody else. Oh, God, who was it? No, that's Steptoe. Who was it? Somebody else was selling the file. Oh, that could have been Flimsy Cutters there. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Right there, right there. No, that's Steptoe again. Oh, for God's sake. Are you selling? No, he's not. Unless it was somebody else and they're going to come here. Because your shop hasn't changed since I saw you a second ago. Oh, that's so annoying, isn't it? <laughs> oh, Caleb, is it, was it you? No, it wasn't. Oh, come on. I literally had the stuff there. Oh, for God's sake. All right. Well, hopefully they'll be selling it by the end of the day. I will try and slice through it during the afternoon with some knives. Uh, let me get this HP up to 20 plus, And then we can go try and chop in that fence. Can't believe that happened. Although I guess, actually, if I do do that, then... I'm going to lose money, aren't I? Hmm. I've got the decision to make now. Of do I want to wait out the day to try and find files? Or do I want to try and get a slightly more guaranteed method of slicing through the fence during the day? Uh, what jobs have you guys got for me? Let's see. Nobody is giving their bloody jobs in here. Uh, no, not Officer Boogie. Uh, what about you? Grab the guard's attention at morning roll call. I hopefully won't be here. <laughs> if I am here, then I've definitely done something wrong. More duct tape. Uh, sure, I'll take it. Why not? Oh, dearie me. Got up to 24% heat, 15% health. Uh, what else we got? Timber, no, we don't want that. Right, Steptoe, are you selling anything new? No. Caleb, are you selling anything new? No. Uh, I'm going to quickly go and check everybody's desks, and then I'll try the slicing thing. So I've already checked that desk. I haven't checked Radford's desk. Come on, you bugger. I've got one file. I've got two duct tape. All I need is that one little extra thing, and then I'll be able to make some flimsy cutters, and this will be the easiest escape that anybody has ever seen. Nope, nada from you. Uh, what about this room? Shelby, what's Shelby got for me? Nope, bugger all. She's got the basic items. Carl, come on, Carl. I like you in Workaholics. You're usually a dodgy guy, and today you're clean as a whistle. God damn it. That's what happens when you're going to rehab, folks. It's a good thing, but not for me when I'm a thug. Uh, no, nothing there. God, it's evening mealtime already. Jeez, okay. Uh, no DVDs, plungers. Come on, somebody must have a file in here. Just, just one person. Nope, lighter, comb shivs, comb blades. Final desk, Bentley. No, food. Food might be handy, I guess. Uh, but let's get ourselves down to uh, let's get ourselves down to the meal. God damn it. All right, I'm coming, I'm coming. Have you guys changed what you're selling yet? Nope, you're still selling double wires. Uh, let me just quickly drop this fatigue whilst I can. Uh, oh, wait, actually, no. Nobody's got anything there. Okay. Carl is selling that stuff. Uh, has that changed, actually? So he's... Aha! File! No, I'm short. I'm short on cash. Uh, oh, balls. Distraction of morning roll call. I need another job. I need another job. Uh, what can I do? Officer Logan. No, I can't be up, guards. You know I can't do that. Uh, what about you? Shelby, come here. Shelby, Shelby, come here. Shelby, give me a bloody job. Oh, Bentley's got more duct tape on him. But I want the job. Someone in the next shower block. I can do that. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it in time. That's the problem. Oh, god damn it. I wonder if I trade with Carl. Uh, not Carl, with Caleb. 
if you'll reduce the price. Because somebody told me that if they like you more, then they give you cheaper costs. I think that came down from 46 to 44. But that's not going to be enough, is it? Oh, for God's sake. All right, I'm just going to have to leave it as is then. If he happens to still be selling the item during shower block, that would be fantastic. But worst case scenario, let's make sure we've got the stuff now so we can at least uh, chop through the fence in the meanwhile. God damn it. Uh, so we've got the fork in our room, which is great. Let's go grab loads of knives out of here. One, two, three, four, five. There you go. And then I reckon if we just quickly run down there, we should be able to slice through part of the fence straight away. I always like doing it on this one just beneath the bush, uh, just because then the guards have a little bit of a gap between us. No, it stops you mid-cut. Balls. So we really do need those cutters, don't we? <laughs> we really, really do need those. Oh, dearie me. Okay, well, what I can do is I can leave the knives down there, because if my inventory is going to be slightly full, um, then that'll be a problem. I'm going to beat up whoever loses out of this as well, just because... There you go. Or wins out of that because they might have a file on them. Nope. And nope. God damn it. Alright. Let's quickly drop some knifeage down here. So I'm gonna drop you there, you there, and you there. That should be fine. I don't think the guards typically pick those up. Um, so we'll be okay there. Ah, uh, God. Come on, I really need Carl uh, the other guy. Right, it's coming up to nine o'clock. This should be shower block time. Come on. Do me a solid. No, it's not shower block time. Shower block time's not till ten. Oh, for God's sake. We're never going to get this extra file, are we? I guess I can start beating people up and then running away from them in the hopes that the guards knock them out and somebody might be carrying one. Ah, oh, I thought this was going to be way easier than it actually is. There we go. Officer Boogie. Ah, oh, Boogie2988 coming to you live with the power of the internet. Uh, oh, one second. Come on, Heiko. Heiko seems like a good guy. Yeah, he is. He's a good dude. He's a good dude. Right, come on. Has Radford got a... No, he doesn't. Fort Radford might have a file on him. He does not. Uh, have we already had shower block? Maybe we have. Yeah, I think we had shower block after the exercise period. All right. Well, I guess I've got to go to my room then and grab all the pieces and try and do this the old-fashioned way. <laughs> um, I guess I could bring the file. That would be quicker than cutting than a knife. Um, and bed dummy can go into there. There you go. Good. All right. And then just need two bed sheets from here and here to put over the rails. And hopefully... I won't be getting checked. I mean, I don't think it matters too much if I'm getting checked. Oh, there you go. I guess if I've got duct tape on my desk, it does. Uh, <laughs> let me just quickly chuck this away. Who's getting checked? Uh, who's getting checked? Oh, anybody? Cooper and Shelby. Sure, fine. That's fine. All right, just quickly dump the duct tape. There you go. One, two, and then everything else should be fine. I reckon now if I put the guard outfit on, I should be okay. Yep, good. And then if I quickly grab a fork... There you go. Got the fork. Got some food. That can go away. And everything looks good. All right. So we're all set. I basically need to get myself down to that wall. Actually, can I chop through the wall now? Will I get into trouble if I stand outside at the moment? Let me see what happens with this. I'll give it a try because this feels like it's a fail regardless. Uh, oh, no. I can go outside. There you go. Oh, backup arrives. Oh, dearie me. Does that mean the snipers are out? I think it does. Yeah. Ah, oh, sugar. All right, well, attempt number one at breaking out of the Yoxy Penitentiary in one day did not work. Uh, the plan was solid. The rushing around for a file and stuff is what cost us at the end of the day. So I'm going to give this another shot tomorrow, and I will see you all in a little bit. Bye-bye. <laughs>